Girl, what are you waiting on? Follow me on Instagram, like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell notification. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday, October 21st, and I'm on my way to the grocery store. <clears throat> By now, you should know that I prefer grocery shopping on Thursdays, not Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays because my weekend starts on Friday when I get off from work and I don't like doing adult stuff that I have to do on the weekend. So I'm getting it done now. We really have a full freezer right now. I'm talking vegetables mainly and then like some like frozen homemade food. So I don't wanna buy a lot of frozen food but I will definitely be buying my husband like chicken breast or whatever because he eats that every single week. Um, and then maybe like one snack and then some greens. Um, and that will probably be about it. I am doing a cooking class on Sunday with my meal prep. So I have to make sure that I get all of the ingredients for that. And then that'll be it. So I need to go to Aldi and then we're gonna go to Whole Foods, okay? There are some things from Whole Foods that are on sale that your girl has to get, particularly a type of fish that I discovered that I like this year. So I'll catch y'all in Aldi first. Hey girl, now listen up. If you know anything about bread, then you know that brioche is that girl, okay? She's probably a black girl because she's thick, okay? Like brioche is so thick and buttery. It also makes for really good French toast. Like I am a bread lover, so every time I come in here, I just stare at the delicious breads. I haven't purchased any yet because I still have zucchini bread in my freezer that I bought from a local bakery. But once we eat up all of that zucchini bread, I will be purchasing some of this really good bread. Now, I remember I used to buy some of this um, type of cinnamon bread, and it makes for really good French toast as well. But this, if you just pop it in the toaster with a little bit of butter, girl, that is going to be absolutely amazing. And this bread was thick and weighty, so I know that it's delicious. Now, I bought some blueberry muffins from Whole Foods the week before, but I was like, oh, let me see how these are. 250 calories for one bagel. Now, the ones that I bought from Whole Foods were Dave's Killer Bread, so we know that the ingredients are gonna be super clean and really good for you. I also saw these cranberry muffins that are a special edition for the fall. Then they also have the pumpkin bagel. That's it, muffins. They also have the pumpkin bagel um, flavor as well. Now, I own a juicer, so I don't buy juices very often, but if you're out of town or you just don't feel like juicing because it can be a little tedious, then all these juices are really good. You see the ingredients label, it's all pure, nothing extra in it. Now, I've had that beet one and the green one, and the green one is even still good as well. But you gotta be mindful of that beet one, girl, because when you poop, it's gonna come out that color. So do not be alarmed if you are not accustomed to juicing. All right, now onto these immunity shots. I have never had them before, but if you feel like you're getting sick, then this would be really good for you, okay? Give you a whole bunch of nutrients real quick. I personally believe in getting the majority of my nutrients from food, so I have never tried them. Now, these chips are really delicious. The first time I had this flavor was in a brand name, but then Aldi started selling them. And uh, you know a chip is going to be really good when it has a whole bunch of flavor crystals on it. They are also gluten-free, so if that's the way that you live, then these would be really tasty. Now, I am not gluten-free and I do not subscribe to a gluten-free lifestyle. However, I do try to reduce my gluten intake as much as possible. And Aldi has a pretty good gluten-free section. These cheddar cheese rice cakes are not to be slept on. These are so good. So get them if you see them. 
Just like when I go to Whole Foods, I say, oh, I can't go into Whole Foods without checking out the kombucha. Well, girl, I don't go to Aldi without checking out the candle aisle, okay? So I was actually looking for these new luxury candles. I bought some before, but they have these different scents that came out. And unfortunately, my store did not have them. But God is good because I live near two Aldi, so I'm going to have to check those ones out. Now, Audi is also not to be slept on when it comes to their charcuterie items. So for these next few items, they are going to be all charcuterie. Now, they have it where you can build your own tray or simply use the trays that they have. Now, this selection has different types of meats in it, so you don't have to buy each package individually, which can get pretty costly because we all know that building a charcuterie tray can be very expensive. They have all different types of crackers that you can add to your tray. And then, you know, because I showed you last week that they have all the different types of jams and spreads as well. Personally, I like to use some jam but I also like to use honey. Now, these are some of their other meats. This pepperoni sounded really good because you know that pepperoni is going to be spicy yet super flavorful. I am an acid-loving girl. I love vinegars and sour things, so I did buy these cornichons. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly so that I can put it on my tray. Prosciutto is a must for a charcuterie tray, okay? But prosciutto it can be very expensive. Like for this four ounce package, look at how much they're charging. So then I found a cheaper package of prosciutto that was $2.65. So that's the one that I generally buy. Prosciutto is like a must. Prosciutto, think of it as like bougie bacon that's like very thinly sliced super flavorful now if you're trying to create less work for yourself they also have this tray with the cheese that's already rolled up in it and then shoot girl if you don't even feel like making a tray you're just trying to have an adult lunchable child just rip this plastic off and you see they got it on this wood looking plastic anyway then boom serve it up and you are done Now, I done told you once, and I'm going to tell you twice, all these cheese selection is not to be slept on. Again, if you are trying to make a quick board, this would be good, and it's Gouda. Oh, Gouda so deliciously creamy. Oh, got off track. But that cheese is already sliced up, so you don't have to do the work of slicing it yourself. They got this goat cheese. This is a mango chili cheese. It is so good. So when I used this cheese last time for a small board, I had the crackers, the goat cheese sliced, and then some strawberries with the meat, and then a little bit of jam. No, I used the balsamic something. Oh, it was so good, y'all. Okay. Now for gluten-free meats. Now these are gluten-free like prepared meals. This was my first time seeing it in Aldi. So I was like, oh, let me look at this. This would be pretty good for like a quick, easy meal, you know, for like a weeknight where you just don't feel like cooking. And I already told you how I felt about these veggie burgers, but I didn't buy them last time because my freezer was full. So I went ahead and bought some this go round. Now let's take a look at some of these frozen pastas. I love seafood. As a kid, I could crack crab legs on my own. So anything that has seafood in it, I am going to look at. We're not a big pasta household just because like for me personally, it makes me feel super bloated. But when I like pasta, I like it. So I was like, let me check out these. Like they got the crab and shrimp. Look at this smoked mozzarella. But the one that I actually ended up buying was this braised beef. I think that this would be really good and maybe a tomato sauce or a tomato plus creamy sauce I think that it would be really good and then I'd probably throw some spinach in there you know you got to throw like two bags in there because spinach be wilting away like net pay Aldi already has their holiday alcohol selections out. They have this eggnog. I am not an eggnog girl because I don't like milky beverages. But if you like eggnog, go ahead and get it and try it. This is the alcohol one. In their refrigerated section, they have the non-alcohol version as well. Then they have these drinks that the bottle reminds me of Bailey's Cream. So maybe these are creamy as well. If you get it again, let me know how it is. Then they have these German wines that are traditionally served warmed so i'm always talking my son we don't need a lot of groceries i don't have to buy a lot of food i'm not gonna buy a lot of food we got food at the house 115 dollars later i'm out of aldi um after aldi i need to go get waxed 
So I did that and now I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. Real far, I really don't even need to go to Whole Foods. But I like this salmon, well it's not salmon. I like this fish called Arctic Char. And I really want it because it's on sale. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I'm gonna get it. So yeah, I'm gonna get it because they also got coconut um, flakes. I usually get the coconut flakes from Trader Joe's because I believe they have the best price, but Whole Foods is only like 50 cents um, more expensive. And I only get it from those two places because they have coconut flakes that are unsweetened. I do not like sweetened coconut flakes. And if you have ever had fresh coconut meat, I'm talking straight off of the tree, shaved, and just eating that raw meat, it is so, so good. I had it in Hawaii for the very first time and it was amazing. Facts. <laughs> I love that. It's so true because running is your sports punishment when you're late, when you F up, but it's actually my sport. Anywho, we at Whole Foods where the boilers and the sugar daddies be. This is the fish that I was telling you about. I love salmon. I could legit eat salmon every single day. And this Arctic char is like a mix between a white fish and then salmon. I also came to check out some of the bacon because this bacon was on sale. But then I grabbed and I was like, wait, this package is it's giving light. It's giving skinny like she's not heavy. Then I realized that it was only eight ounces, which is half a pound. And isn't bacon usually served per pound? So I was like, ain't no way I'm about to spend that amount of money on eight ounces of bacon. I have never seen plant-based soups in a can before. Now, mind you, I don't do soup out of a can because look at that sodium content. It's insane. It's much easier to just make your own soup. But if you're in a bind, I was like, wow, look at all of these different plant-based versions. But these ain't cheap though because they $3.50 a can. But you know, this is Whole Foods and they be trying to take your whole paycheck. Speaking of whole paycheck, inflation must have hit these coconut flakes because I could have sworn that they were only $2 before, but now they're talking about some $4, so I put them back, and I'm going to just get them from Trader Joe's. Now, I've never seen this pumpkin spice flavor um, RX bar before, so I went ahead and grabbed three just off of the strength because I like their um, other fall flavor that they have. Hey, girl. So today is... Friday and I got an email saying that today was the last day for a Bath and Body Works aromatherapy sale and really the only thing that I ever buy from Bath and Body Works are their aromatherapy lotions and then the wallflowers. So the aromatherapy lotions are buy two get two free plus I have a 20% off coupon plus um, a coupon for like a free item. And I've been waiting to use the coupons until there was a sale that I deemed worthy of my coins. And although I already have a few bottles of aromatherapy lotion, I'm gonna go ahead and stock up because Christmas is around the corner and that would be a super easy gift. Plus my husband has had a very um, busy work week, um, plus other stuff going on. So. I'm going to get him something nice so that he could take a nice shower and put on something fancy to smell good because men deserve that kind of luxury as well, right? So I'm going to go grab him um, some things and grab myself some things from aromatherapy myself plus maybe like Christmas gifts or whatever. And then I will check in with y'all. Even though I don't buy Bath & Body Works candles, it's always so hard to walk out of the store without buying one because the packaging is so pretty. But anywho, these are the two new scents of the aromatherapy line. I prefer the Awakening Sun because I don't like vanilla scents and cheap stuff. Girl, they got some new scents. Eucalyptus and lavender. She said they just put these out. This is tea tree and peppermint, very Christmassy, and then black currant and cedar wood. 
anytime I see cedar wood, teak wood, or any of those other woods, I'm going to pick it up and smell it. This one was a little fruity yet woodsy at the same time. And then I am trying to figure out here which stress relief product I wanted to get my husband. I didn't want it to smell girly at all. I ended up buying the eucalyptus and tea one because the other one kind of reminded me of a nail salon. They have some good scents up in there. I can't even lie. And I did like them holiday scents. It was hard for me to figure out which ones I wanted to buy. I went in saying that I was only going to buy four lotions, i.e. walk away with four. The two that I was going to buy and then the two that was going to be free. But I ended up spending on three and then getting three for free. And then I had a coupon for a free item that was $13.50 or cheaper. So I use that on a men's body spray because my husband has been working from home since the start of the pandemic. Um, so he hasn't been able to wear his nice colognes because why would you spray that just to sit in the house? Um, so I wanted to buy him some body spray slash cologne that he could wear around the house because I have like my cheap perfumes that I wear around the house. So I want him to feel good as well, even though he's just sending his basketball shorts and do rags at the crib. Okay, so that is all that I got for y'all and I will catch y'all in my next vlog.